Um, statistics is a pretty fun um, topic, I guess. I mean, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But I do think statistics is pretty fun. Um, so this is question for statistics is probably about a two in terms of difficulty. So we're looking at the syllabus point, uh, define the probability as the area under the graph of the PDF using the notation. I'm not even going to try and enunciate this um, notation um, where f of x is the probability that's a function defined on a to b. Okay, so we've got a continuous um, random variable x has the following PDF. Here it is. Find the value of k. Okay, so I did leave myself two slides, so that's good. Um, okay, so we want to be finding the value of k. If we know this is a probability density function, we know that when we integrate it, we're going to be getting an area of 1 because that is one of our um, properties of our PDFs. Okay, so we can say that between k and 0, the integral of sine x dx is equal to 1. Okay, and then um, our pretty simple integration. So our integration of um, sine x is negative cos x and between k and 0 is equal to 1. Okay, then we just do how we would for any other integration. Um, cos 0. The reason that this is plus is because we've got a negative here and then we're minusing um, the second term. That's why we change that to a plus. Equals 1. So negative cos x is equal to 0 because this is equal to 1 and then we're going to minus that 1 across. Okay, so then our cos of k, if we take that this across, we're going to get pi on 2. Okay, so then that's all we need to do to get those marks. Okay, so pretty simple with two marks, super easy to marks to get. Then we want to find the probability that one is greater than um, or equal to um, x, giving your answer to four decimal places. Okay, so this is our indicator. We don't want the exact value. Don't care about the exact value for this one. Okay, again, pretty simple question. Just knowing what to do is the hard part. Okay, so what we want to do is find the area under that curve between 1 and 0. Okay, just like we just did for x, I mean for k, doing the same thing just for 1. So we're going to equal, if we integrate that, same integration, negative cos x between 1 and 0. We're going to get negative cos of 1 plus 1, because we already just talked about before how our cos of 0 is equal to 1. And then if we put that in our calculator, if everybody wants to give a go putting that in their calculator. Then we're going to get, it's just about equal to 0 0.4597 to four decimal places. Alrighty, so yeah, pretty simple question. Um, yeah, I just want to get used to using these um, PDFs. Okay.